Hey guys, so I'm going to be reviewing um, Billy Carson's, um, what's it called again? Forbidden Knowledge TV. Yes, Forbidden Knowledge TV. Because I recently, so okay, let me tell you how I got here. So a couple years ago, I heard about Forbidden Knowledge TV and um, I like, I think I got like a subscription. I had a free trial, but I didn't actually watch anything. Like I had it and then like I got, you know, stuff happen and so then I got it again recently and I have been watching programs because I am on a mission to mind control myself and to specifically experience what I want to experience you know so and part of that and it seems like the main part of it is cleansing the inside and making sure that you know holistically my mind body and soul are healed and in, in the right good zone and this is a great book by the way for that how to benefit from stress i'm going to do a book review on this i'm not finished yet but i'm going to do a book review on this because this is a good book okay and how how i found it was just so interesting too so I guess that found me, honestly, you know, when the teachers, when the student's ready, the teacher appears. And that's like the same thing with Billy Carson. When the student's ready, the teacher appears. And so I think that, um, I like that Forbidden Knowledge TV has shows and classes. It's not just like a platform for you to just, you know, waste time and, and space out. And just, but you can also like really, really learn stuff on there. Now, if you are looking for like cartoon shows, they, you know what? That's what they're missing is like some animated series. Like, you know what would be really, really cool is if there was a series, a cartoon series where, where Billy and Elizabeth, um, and you know, like they had like, like Elizabeth would be star command, right? And she would have like a, a home base in their mansion home in Miami, right? And, and, but she would be able to like go to different star systems and they have like home bases on, on different planets and different galaxies, right? And she would be like star command and, you know, maybe she would have a, a power where she can multiply and be in multiple places at once, right? And so they're doing that. And then Billy would be like um, a a star command. Like he, okay, okay. So she would be, she would be at home base, like the work person, like, okay, you know, um, look here and, and setting out missions and stuff, right? And him and a team of, I don't know, would go to different planets to learn from them, um, to teach them stuff, to like have battles to like like each episode would be very very different kind of like stargate but on some like real hidden knowledge stuff because you can you can put a lot more visually with cartoons than you can with you know reality so i would love to see a cartoon show where they go around and have these crazy crazy battles that would be so cool. That would be so cool because they don't have any animated series. And I, for one, I love animated series. I love cartoons. Um, so I would appreciate if they had some some cartoon series on there. And even they could go to like worlds that were even in different um, type of animations. Like one world they would go to might turn them all into sketchbook characters or because they would go to different worlds and different universes and different dimensions like and it could it would be a great way to really really teach people on a rudimentary like a kindergarten level how to understand these really abstract concepts like there could be a, a animated series that journals through the emerald tablets and just a separate one a separate one because that would be too many too many complex ideas in one series so another series could be something like they're going through the emerald tablets and you have Toth as your guide right and there's like the story of 
the Emerald Tablets in a practical life setting, maybe based off of a like four different characters. One um, young man from a trouble from the hood or something. And then one young woman or girl, kid is what I'm trying to say, teenager, teen and children and, and adults. Like some, some kind of four perspective series that takes you through the Emerald Tablet so that people can see what that transition actually looks like in real time, but from four different perspectives and in a cartoon form. And maybe sometimes they could intersect, but they would have their own versions of that experience separate because then, you know, it just, it just adds to it. So yeah, I think, and I feel like, like that platform would be such a great platform to do that because of, first of all, how much knowledge Billy just kind of has about things. That's why I'd be thinking, I think he's an alien or something or some real stuff. Um, but, or I don't know, something, you know, okay, and I already said this before, but I'm gonna say it one more time. There, you know, there's some people that you just know, like, oh, you want some other stuff. You ain't from around these parts. You know, who are you? Um, because it's just so different. And it's not a bad thing. It's like, I'm curious. Like, like I said, I have a theory that he's tall. Or, he, you know, he's some iteration. Maybe he's the forthcoming. But I have a theory that he is, he's on some deity alien stuff he's not a normal dude <laughs> you know and I, I you know it just is what it is I have a theory he's not a normal dude um so anyway I um I would I would love to see like I said that would be something that I think would be great for them to incorporate some animated series um and I will say if you're used to a more um I don't want to say, if you're used to a more intuitive interface, Forbidden Knowledge TV is more of a, it's it, it's not, it doesn't have an AI component, it seems. It seems like it's, it's very much just like, instead of showing you multiple series for the most part that are in this category, like let's say um, Aliens, it will have like a whole series as a line. So it looks kind of like, I don't want to say YouTube, but no, not YouTube. Like I don't, I have not seen another streaming platform that looks like this to give you a comparison, but it's not gonna have like, and I would, I would think, I would like to see that a little bit more of an AI component, but it's a really good platform for what it is. It's kind of like a library for, information but what I'm trying to say is like sometimes you'll have to scroll a lot to get to see more things rather than being able to go this way you have to go down and it's sometimes it's, it requires a lot of scrolling um so that could be that would be an area for improvement um but I like that you can see the growth in the platform as well and it's still in the early stages um and i think that it's great for what it is but you should know before you go in like what to expect so that you're not comparing it to like a, like a bravo or a own you know what i'm saying or like like um i don't know you're not comparing it to hbo you know what i'm saying um so just keep that in mind and though, you know, even even Ashira Goddess, Ashira Seven has a thing, a video on there. So I was like, what? what? Um, so yeah, I think overall though, it's a really, really great platform. And I can see the trajectory of where it's going. Like you can imagine that at some point they're going to put some sort of AI in it. You know, it's, it's kind of obvious, but it's good to know that it's not currently there. So that when you see it, you're not like taken aback. Like what the heck? Because it, I was like, dang, a little bit, because that's what I'm used to. But the quality of the content does, um, you can look past it. And also, the shows aren't like show shows. A lot of the information is like stuff, content that you would get off of YouTube, 
just a lot more in depth and a lot more raw. So it's like the explicit explicit version or the extended music video version of what you would get on YouTube. It's the the um the stuff that they can't say on YouTube, it's that stuff. But it's still YouTube content. So also keep that in mind. It's not a bad thing, but you know, just so you know what you're getting into cuz I was thinking that it was going to be more like like TV show stuff and I think that there is an effort to do that, but I think it's because it's a knowledge-based platform and I'm sure there are documentary type films on there or like just film films um, perhaps, but I haven't come across them yet. So I would, I would like to see some films too, some like some real films, like many, many series or even like many episodes about like some black like like a black mirror type thing where every episode is different um but they're actually show episodes because like the knowledge is so potent and powerful that they're sharing and though it's not always put in the most entertaining way so there's only a certain group of people that are going to absorb it so I think if they were to add some series and some like films, some shows, I think it would really, really, really catapult that um, that that brand. Because the like I said, it's the reason why I really, really like it is because of the level of knowledge. But you have to be someone who it's like it's clearly catered to a certain demographic and perhaps that's on purpose but I just think that if they had some more entertaining content on there as well they could pull more people so that those people can look at the other information too so that they can see oh wait a minute like because you know what would be really cool like if they did do that it would introduce these educators and then people, it would funnel people to the educational stuff as well. You know what I mean? Because if you can, if you can appeal to people that are here for entertainment, and then you you can funnel and 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 widen that impact so that you can reach the youth ultimately. So yeah, I think overall though, it's a great great platform. And it's in its infantile stages. There are some improvements, you know, just off some, you know, real stuff. And though, they have a lot of great information on there. And if you are a knowledge seeker, because like I said, it could be purposeful. Um, but if you are a knowledge speaker, you will find a lot of food on that platform, like straight up, straight up. Um, yeah, so if you watch this, thank you so much. Um, if you got to this part, thank you. What are you doing? Go watch some Forbidden Knowledge TV because if you're, oh, oh, oh. And what I really, really liked is that there is a Egyptian mystery school um, course on there. And, uh, you know, I've been taking that too. Uh, I haven't finished it yet because it's it's a long freaking course. It's like a lot of videos, which I can also appreciate. There's like never ending knowledge on there. There's so much knowledge and information on there. It's like a library. So if you're looking to evolve and looking for places to learn, um, I would recommend it. See you later.